They're, they're really a small minority that are um, very um, threatened by um, the concept of equality, the concept of people having choices in their lives, and and um, they're they're very prejudiced, and that's really what what that is. Um, and then there's a lot of people who you know still have have some prejudices that they're overcoming, and uh, uh, the more people uh, know gays and lesbians in their families and in their communities, the more people are out, the less prejudice people tend to have. Um, and so it's a, pro it's a process, and we've come a, a long way. We still have a long way to go, but there's still a lot of fear and prejudice and stereotypes um, uh, about gays and lesbians and uh, fear that for some reason, and I read that they said this, that marriage would mean nothing to them if we could do it. You know, if, if people like Rachel and I could get married, then their marriage would be meaningless. Your marriage stands on its own. You don't need to have a privilege over us in order to mean anything. So are you saying that you two getting married doesn't really change them? They live the same life. It changes you. It allows you to have rights. Yeah. It does. It does um, uh, question some or challenge some stereotypical ideas about what women are supposed to be like and what men are supposed to be like. And society is already changing in that way. Um, and women are, you know, working in the workforce and women do all kinds of jobs and 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 so the people who have a very traditional idea of what men and women are supposed to do are particularly threatened uh, by uh, by this idea. So, um, or this reality that gays and lesbians are to do have relationships, they are have, they do have families, are they going to have recognition or are they going to end up with one person not being able to visit somebody else in the hospital? I mean, that's really what the yeah. issue is. They, people, gays and lesbians are together, they have, they're raising children together, they have families already. Um, are you going to deny them the same rights that other people have or, or not? I mean, that's really what it is. But they would rather just go back to the 50s or the 40s or whatever time when you didn't see it, when, when everybody had to pretend they were heterosexual, whether they were or they weren't, and, um, and there wasn't this idea of equality. Just like people who were very threatened by, um, uh, you know, black people demanding their rights and equality, and, and they wanted the olden days when black people were in their place and white people, you know, white people were ruling and white people had privileges. and and they didn't want that to change. Mm -hmm. So some people are afraid, are afraid of change. Um, I'd like to address one thing that a lot of the people um, in support of this proposition mentioned, and that's children. They say that they're very concerned about children growing up in, in gay families. I think a lot of the studies that they've done has shown that children of gay parents come out no different than children of straight parents. And I think there's a lot of hypocrisy here because if they were really concerned about the welfare of children, they need to get involved in a lot of the, the problems that children have coming from domestic violence, coming from abandonment and drug use. All they need to do is take a look at what goes on in the welfare system, um, in, in, in the court system, to see that a lot of these children come from, from uh, straight marriages or just straight couples not necessarily from gay ones. I don't think there's any study out, and I know that studies have been done, and I'd like them to find it, that shows that children of gay parents are more troubled than children of straight parents. I'd like, I'd like to see them show that. Yeah, I just wanted to ask you, we're mm -hmm. almost done, but um, mm -hmm. how you guys first met, and if, you know, when you knew you were in love, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can start, because I okay. Well, we actually <laughs> met in a book group, <laughs> in, 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 a, in, a, in a lesbian book group. Um, and I mean, I, I'm a little bit different from a lot of people in this way. We became friends first. And I kind of, over a period of time, you know, and then we were roommates, realized that we were in love with each other. It was kind of a slow thing. It wasn't kind of, you know, the thing where you meet somebody, oh, <laughs> first sight, that. No, not at all. Not at yeah, all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Lesbians like to read books. <laughs> so, I think women like to read books. Women like to read books. <laughs> book groups. Exactly. Yeah. So book groups. Who, yeah. Who's a circle of friends? And, mm -hmm. yeah, a group of I have another. Just a quick question yeah. about um, your your actual wedding. Will you describe that day? And what it was like? <laughs>
Well, this is really funny because I thought, oh, it's no big deal. We're going to have a potluck, a blah, 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 blah. Oh, my goodness. You know, I got to be a nervous wreck. I didn't know what I was doing. We had a friend from out of town. I'm really glad she was here because she had to tell me what to do. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I really didn't. And I was just amazed that, that everything um, came out okay. The only funny thing I do have to say was we went and got this wedding cake from the bakery. These people were really nice. It's a Mexican bakery down the street. And I, we just said, you know, we wanted to say on the cake, congratulations, Anna Rochelle. We didn't say anything anymore. And she put two little rings on it. We didn't even say it was a wedding cake. So. And I locked it in there so Sasha wouldn't get at it. Lock. But uh -huh. she did. She <laughs> <laughs> part of the wedding Yeah, day. she had part of the wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the little uh, lot. <laughs> so we just had a very s a simple ceremony in the backyard um, with Rabbi Lori Kosky. Um, and, uh, you know, it was maybe like 30 people, friends and family. Um, her father was from out of town, uh, from out of town was visiting, and they had my mother and my two sisters and their husbands, and my nephew, and um, my, my boss, and <laughs> his kid, and I mean, it, some friends from work, and um, it, was, it was really nice. It was, it was, you know, really a very touching moment in our lives, mm -hmm. and, and um, um, it was really nice to be able to, you know, say publicly like that, like yeah, we've never done meaningful. before, that we, what we mean to each other and mm -hmm. to have the support of the community, it's really, really nice. Yeah.